What's up ladies and gentlemen, not a lot of CD tweaks have been coming out because of all of our developers as I've mentioned this 600 times, they're all waiting for iOS 7's jailbreak and then they're gonna release CD tweak after CD tweak after CD tweak just like last year. During the end of the year last uh, last year or the year before something like that when iOS 5 came out or 6 came out, um, all the developers were like nah, no time for making CD tweaks and then iOS 6 comes out then the iOS 6.1 point something jailbreak came out and voila, everyone goes nuts over CD tweaks. They make the whole, what do you call it, OXO, Jelly Lock, all those amazing CD tweaks came out directly after that, and I can only imagine what they're going to do with iOS 7. So stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated on when the iOS 7 jailbreaks can come out. So far, I estimate somewhere around the New Year's, maybe before it, if we're really lucky. So let's get to the city tweak, and it is called Better Wi-Fi, and it's one of the best in-depth city tweaks I've seen in a while. Problem? Not a lot of people are going to get a lot of use out of it since you people usually have phones, but for an iPod, this is actually extremely useful. So first off, when you directly go into better Wi-Fi, and that's what it looks like, it gives you an option. Now, use the show only open Wi-Fi network switch, this thing right here. And basically what it does is when you click this on, it only shows you Wi-Fi networks that don't require a password. That can be very useful for many people, I guess. And sh uh, then you have show like in uh, the little arrow key in Wi-Fi settings. If you're a little confused on what that is, that basically stands for the update button. So let me go ahead into my Wi-Fi settings. And I'm going to try to do this quickly because it's a little creepy on people. And there you go. When I swipe down, all my Wi-Fi networks pop up. That's a great way to refresh it in case you're sitting there waiting for it to refresh by itself. Now there is a smart passcode lock and basically if you're on your own Wi-Fi network or a certain Wi-Fi network, say school, work, home, here, then your iPod Touch or iPhone will not require a password. This was another city of tweak back in the day, but nothing better than when one city tweak combines a bunch of city tweaks like uh, Spring Demise. There's a few other this is uh, there's a few other ones, but the most important one I say is probably remove RSSI limit. And basically that is the limit that Apple put on it basically saying to your iPod or iPhone, don't go f past this level for searching, or don't go f past this far for searching. I don't know why they did it, but your iPod is a lot more capable than Apple lets it be. So say it can only search up to 100 feet. Well, this tweak's gonna allow it to search up to 300 feet, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. So that is called remove RSSI limit. If that gets a little annoying because you live in an apartment or something, go ahead and shut it off. But if it doesn't, Keep it on like I do. But yeah, that's about it for better Wi-Fi, and it really does make your Wi-Fi a lot better. Well, your Wi-Fi settings a lot better, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I, I will make sure to keep you updated on the iOS 7 jailbreak. Um, and I'm hoping to make a video on, like, infer an informative video on the iOS 7 jailbreak later on this week. Stay tuned, click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I know it's really tempting. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. This is me, locking off.